Well, I've shown quite a few connection videos recently of places from the old world and the new world in connectives. Some of them being somewhat superficial. Egypt, China, the Mayans, Inca. All kinds of artifacts keep showing up with representations in either way. And here's just another odd one, somewhat superficial, but yet still noted. Like, what? This artifact here is from about 300 AD, but it also connects to the Sang Shuing Di that I recently did a video about and showed connectives and even old artwork from there showing you who these people actually were and who had the iconography that comes down to us as part of the elves. But we're looking at this picture here and you can see in Mexico and in India and even in China over there on the left with the Shang Shui Di they seem to have this strange helmet effect. We've talked before about Phrygian caps and how it makes all the connectives. Here's another cap that's just a little bit stranger than that. But the fact that it's so strange of a hat with some weird symbology that goes along with it makes it even an odder connection whenever you have it in all three cultures. So this spans quite a bit of time and people talk about, well, there's fluted tops to cups and things and a lot of these don't know and don't understand it or make the reference here, but hopefully you can see it on the left edge here. What we're looking at looks like somebody got a engine upgrade here to a hot rod and decided to put a blower on it or a hood scoop, it seems. That seems strange going with a brain replacement idea concept. <laughs> but when we see this in all these three cultures, it kind of points out something odd and makes people go, what? Because there shouldn't be a connection with ancient China and these people here, or even in the Shang Shui Di. But well, we know the Sang Shui Di have a definite connection to the people of ancient China and preempt them in the area just like the Terran Basin mummies did. And this possibly got passed through them. And there are recollections and ideas that the Chinese had at least made one voyage to the New World here. And in doing so might have imparted them with some idea in sculpture there's only one problem with this idea when we look at this guy that looks like captain picard or abe lincoln is it's a thousand years worth of difference from the ones found in vera cruz here so again i've showed lots of connection with these and of course this is just ancient aliens isn't it that's what it's got to be Or maybe we're just not giving mankind enough credit for the expanse they used to be. We're still stuck in the idea that people couldn't go in boats until a modern time and thought the world was flat and you'd fall off of it. So here's a, ch a connection with China and Mexico. and India, which we're kind of leaving out here right now. And again, everybody wants to give an idea of like, oh, it's got to be aliens and stuff, right? Well, these fanciful people of this area had a lot of iconography and griffins and all kinds of things, war paint, tattoos. There's been a lot of connections shown around the world in different ways. Hard to believe that there's a connection as such, but it just really looks like there was a ritual connected to this that meant so much more for all three of these people. Something connecting them all. Though the Zhang Shui Di on the left is standing and in a pose of gesture out, 
The other two seem to be sitting in a Buddha type pose. That might make another connection. Let me know what you think downstairs. Some people thought, oh, they've got to be a bong or something like that. But see, the thing with that is, is there's no hole to put any stem or anything in. It's not totally hollow down in here either. And in all three cases, it doesn't look like they were doing something that they would uh, put incense in there or something along that line. Only difference I can see in them, truthfully, is over here on the Shang Shui D that's here. You can see a little hole that's through that. There's a little hole in the top and there's a little hole on the bottom. So there might have been something hung there. Or I don't know of a feathers or something like that on the back of that cowling shows horns on it you can see and the other two don't have that but here's another weirdo you see how this is tied right here on the Mexico one and it looks like an onk simple and tied right through and boom like a Chinese or a Japanese gi or something the way they sash that out like that funny over here in India, we have that exact same tying. Could be somewhere else, could be around the back of the head, could have tassels hanging down. So many things, but it doesn't. Earrings and a necklace. Boy, it's starting to make a connection here. It just starts to show more and more. Let me know what you think downstairs. Peace.